Hello nail fam and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Mrs. and today I'm going to try and nail stamping. This was my first experience with stamping ever, but I did come across quite a few tips and tricks while doing my research and workshopping things in this video. This actually came about because I was challenged by my mentor, Inna, from New Nail Studios in Melbourne, Australia, to do this collab with her. So our challenge was monochrome nails with stamping and a nature theme. And for me, that was fall. For her, it was spring. So here we go. For my base, we have the Young Nails Cover Pink in hard gel and shaped up to a tapered square. First step is to pick your base color. I am just swatching these nail polishes real quick because I honestly didn't own any nail polish, so I just picked these up real quick at Target but it is suggested to use nail polish for stamping. So at first I was going to try and mix these two colors together to get the honey color I was thinking of, but then I realized that gel would be better, which leads me to my first tip. When doing nail stamping, it's best to start with a gel base color. It just makes cleaning up the mess a lot easier and fixing little mistakes is a whole lot easier. So since I didn't have the color I was looking for, I mixed these three colors together to get this pretty little honey-based color. I did a very, very thin layer, cured for 30 seconds, and then did a second layer and cured for 60 on all five nails. Now that I'm happy with my base, that leads me to my second tip, always cleanse before stamping. There's can be stickies and it just makes everything clean and prevents a huge sticky mess. <laughs> Now to the stamping itself. I actually won this kit from a giveaway from Young Nails. They live stream on Twitch and do glitterathons and stuff like that. It's it's fun and an easy way to earn free nail stuff. So getting into the stamping itself, I wanted a lighter orange to start. I am taking my brush and mixing the two colors together and just brushing that over the design I chose for these nails. Which leads me to tip number three. You need to move pretty darn quick when it comes to stamping. The nail polish will dry and you won't be able to pick it up. As you can see, my first attempt was an utter failure and this is even sped up. So you have about 10, 15 seconds to get it on the plate, swipe, pull it and place it on the nail. Now that I know how fast I need to go, that brings me to my next tip, which is remember your steps. Yes, you need to move fast, but do not get so panicked that you forget the steps you need to take. There are a few of them, one right after the other to get it on the nail, but just understand 10, 15 seconds, once you get in the groove is plenty of time.
Okay, we got our timing down and we've got our steps down, which brings me to my next tip, which is more just a general rule. A little goes a long way when you're adding white and black. You don't need a lot, and in fact, if you add too much, it takes over the entire color, especially with black. So a little dot will do ya, and really bring in some nice shades. I don't know if you can see me struggle with keeping this clean and keeping the mess clean, but that brings me to tip number six. Polish remover is a lot better than swipe or another alcohol dehydrator, nail cleanser. Go for 100% acetone and it really just takes the polish right up. much better. So this next tip actually comes from workshopping off camera and that is nail polish is better than gel polish for beginners. I've heard a lot of good things from gel polish but for me it gets really messy really fast and is a lot easier to clean nail polish off real quickly than gel and that just it makes me kind of nervous to get uncured gel all over my nail. Speaking of, number eight is easy cleanup. You can just take some alcohol or some swipe and dab it on with a brush and it comes right off real easy. Then when you're all finished, tip number nine is to seal it all with a gel top coat. I know a lot of people like just the nail polish clear coats, that's fine. But for me, I did gel top coat and these babies lasted two weeks plus with no chipping and no mess up on the design. So I really love this first layer, but I feel like it was missing that last little mm, and I really liked that look, it looked like fallen leaves. So I wanted to give that a try and I decided to go for it and you know, I wanted like brown fallen leaves. I thought that would be perfect for my fall vibe. And that leads me to my final tip, which is small designs are so hard to read. They are not legible at all and they can get muddy real quick just check this out see instantly i was like mm, this not it maybe i did it wrong let's try again so i do it again and it just it looks it looks like poo it looks like poo marks on my nail. It was just, it wasn't it. So I decided to just do a second layer using a different color of the exact same stamp. And that turned out great. If you want to see the collab post, you can check out my Instagram or Nude Nail Studios Instagram. But here are the nails actually two weeks later and you can see that stayed perfectly. Thank you so much for watching. Tune into the next video when I fix these nails and make them fresh and new. Bye, nail fam.